Before we get into this episode of Toradora, I just want to say to the Toradora fans specifically, but to all of the Dapper Squad, thank you so much for being patient with me in terms of this little mini hiatus when it comes to videos. I've been just super down on the dumps, just super hanging out with family, hanging out with friends, animals, just to try to get my spirits back on the... I just haven't been in the best mood as of late, but I have been seriously craving some anime, and I've been seriously wanting to make some anime videos, and so... I gotta do it you know anime is a part of my heart so i gotta do it but i just want to say thank you for the patience guys i know it hasn't been easy trust me trust me what's up dapper squad it's your boy darius back at it again with toradora episode 21 last episode we <laughs> we had ryuji mentally some, some sort of <laughs> psychic pet i don't know burn down the resort in which we were going to go to now we're going to a ski lodge with everyone as a squad and there's just a lot of emotional and uh, pent up love and feelings and all all sort of emotions that are pent up that are going to be released during this trip between minarin um uh kushida ryuji Taiga, Amy, and Kitamura. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot right there that's gonna go down. Now remember, with certain shows like Toradora, I cannot put the reaction on YouTube, so make sure to click that description for the reaction. Come back here for the review. If you guys want to avoid that completely and you guys want to support me and get full length to all this show and all the other shows I'm watching, consider checking out that Patreon down below. Patreon's not really your thing. You could still support me by just leaving a, a like and a nice comment down below. Helps push my face out there into the algorithm, helps me get my give my name and a lot more. A lot more boxes so uh appreciate you guys immensely let's hop into this toradora episode 21 it is called let's see can't help myself man that was an emotional episode right there that one hit me Whew. i tell you because like I said it at the at the beginning, like we've had so many different, different emotional paths, different, ro different roller coasters. Like this, not just the show is a roller coaster, but like Kushida and Ryuji, that's a roller coaster by itself. Uh, Kitamura Taiga, roller coaster by itself. You know, like you have all these roller coasters converging at one point, and then it's all just gonna collide, crash, and fall, burn to the ground. You know, oh. Which there was some, uh, there was some heightened conflict in this episode, some tension that needed to be break, it needed to be broke, I would say. Definitely between Kushida and Amy, for sure, makes a lot of sense. They've been having this little, I mean, not really a, a fucking Kushida, but Amy's been having these little jabs at Kushida left, right, and center, you know, because she's one of the only people in the show. Both of them are one of the only people in the show who are very observant, know almost all the pieces of the puzzle, yet refuse to say anything ever for either uh, emotional reasons, like Kushida does not want to hurt Taiga, Kitamura, Ryuji's feelings, or personal reasons like Amy. I still have yet to figure out why. I personally feel like it's entertainment, but I would love to know more. Maybe I, she feels like obviously she has some sort of self hate going on at a certain point because she's like why why like i said that to her and it's kind of she's like i'm trying to relate her to other characters and other forms of media that i can she's she's sort of like regina george and mean girls for me if you guys have seen that movie classic movie if you haven't seen it definitely watch it but she is mean and uses these i, I don't want to call them attacks because they're but they are attacks. She's mean and she uses these attacks as her way of of getting to know someone, as, as her way of coming. Because she's like, you know, that's just how she is. But like, she truly, she has introspection enough to be able to realize it's not good and that she doesn't like it. She, she says these things unknowingly to Kushida, but then a few days later, she'll be like, man, why did I say that? That was just so out of pocket and so mean. But, you know, like in the heat of the moment, like it's not even the heat of the moment because there's no moment. She like made the moment fucking, you know, like I, I want to say I understand Amy, but then I, again, I don't like it's, it's, it's interesting to me. Like I, I'll say I understand her because I know people like her, but I don't understand her because I've never been that type of person, you know, like I've never been. Which she, you can relate her to a lot of bullies. You know, bullies are mean to other people because, you know, they themselves have 
have insecurity issues, you know, stuff like that. But I've never been that kind of person. So I've just I'm curious as to I, I really want to know what she's one of the most complex characters in the show for me. I want to know more. I feel so bad for um, Tyga throughout this whole episode. She's just trying to be fucking Cupid making love out here. I'm not making love out here, but making love work out here, like making love connections. She's not making love out there. You guys know what I'm saying, but it's not working out. She almost died. Jesus Christ, this is this is just you know this is high school right here you know love will get you killed. That's a that's a pretty good symbol symbol. <laughs> it's pretty good symbolism for high school. Love will get you killed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know what you thought down below. I appreciate your Dapper Squad. I will see you on this next episode. Peace out, you guys. Love you.